but um, it was a great game uh, from both teams. Um. Okay, 20 seconds left, um, and we will see the sixth game of the first day here, Switzerland against Austria. We have 50 games to go, 51. Yeah, 50, 51 games to go here in this Champions Cup. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of, hey, we no, have... Uh, Zurich has the ball. Yeah, here we go, the, the game started. Um, uh, Zurich, Switzerland in blue and um, Austria in white. And uh, Austria recovered the ball and is now uh, going for an attack. Uh, let, uh, they're going to check out uh, the Swiss basket, but they were stopped in the half of the pool but still can hold on to the ball, although they're on the heavy attack from Switzerland. Here, Switzerland takes the ball away from them and go for a counter-attack for themselves. Um, it will be a physical game, exhausting game for uh, Switzerland with only nine players. So they only have uh, three players yeah, on the exchanging. Uh, but they, they have reduced their 11. Yeah, I'm but sure. Thorsten told me uh, later, um, uh, yesterday, the two they have only uh, nine players okay. altogether. I'm not quite sure if it's... You uh, have inside the information. Yeah, I have inside information. Um, we have now a surface game now. We don't see what's happening. Now here's a Swiss player coming down but is stopped by a heavy defense, forechecking defense of uh, Austria. But nevertheless, Switzerland is still in ball possession. And I think in this tournament, it's uh, the one of their chances to score against another team. Um, because yeah, I'm surprised that the Swiss are having uh, more ball possession because we really thought that the Austrian uh, could be stronger. But so far, Switzerland is really delivering. Uh, I think they have to throw everything thing they have in the first one and a half minutes and to score now because it will be exhausting for them in the long run. Uh, so what well, we see yeah, now... Well, if you play yeah. with nine, of course, I understand. Yeah. Yes. But nevertheless, they do a good job because Austria will not... Uh, uh, it's not the way Austria wants to play and it's not the way uh, they want to see this game unfold. So I'm, uh, I'm curious how uh, uh, Switzerland Kim Ka can keep up uh, this the uh, the ball possession, but uh, right now they don't succeed in breaking through to the Austrian basket, and they are kept uh, in a distance uh, from let's say two to three meters from the basket, and they don't uh, succeed in breaking through and even touch the goalkeeper. And this is exhausting, more exhausting with nine players for Switzerland. Um, it's still uh, three minutes, almost three minutes in the first half and Switzerland is in ball possession in the corner of the Austrian basket and Austria is defending um, and attacking the, the Swiss but they don't succeed in getting the ball away from them so it's a quite exhausting game here back and forth uh, running after the Swiss ball play and Swiss uh, uh, Zurich does quite a good job here keeping the keeping the uh, uh, the players from Austria on well, the run. Yeah, the, I mean, they were, you know, just uh, keeping Here we up go. the wave attack. Now, uh, you have the Austrians trying to swim a counter-attack, but taking their time. And they have the time, because when they build up their attack, and they have more players in the water or more change players altogether, they can take their time and wear the, the Swiss out. So let's see what the defense of the Swiss uh, has in store here for us. Here we go. Uh, the two Swiss players are on the the uh, two Austrian players are on the Swiss basket, and one is trying to push up the goalkeeper's back. He's uh, he's really uh, laying good, and even the exchange they didn't succeed to pull in the ball in the exchange, attacking, attacking from uh, the Austrian teams, but they don't succeed, and they pull out again and rebuild their attack. So it's interesting uh, to see these uh, two teams. Right now, I'd say they are uh, on an equal level. What do you think, uh, Lorena, after five minutes, uh, uh, about five minutes? Yeah, it looks quite equal. And now probably it's a matter of fact of which team has the better condition. And if we think that the Swiss have just nine players, um, that could be uh, a, a, a weak a weakness of, of the Swiss, but now the the goalkeeper was alone, just recovered the ball and tried to swim away. He had been down for a long time. I don't know how long he can keep the ball. And uh, now uh, they have uh, a surface. 
cluster uh, just <laughs> those trying to recover the ball and uh, they're trying to pass it but they're too much in the surface now they're coming uh, in an attack because one of the Austrians just stole the basket and is holding let's see how long he can stay in there uh, the Swiss are trying to recover the basket they did it successfully and and now they're three meters away fighting again for the ball they recover but um, the they are fighting too much in the surface uh, a little bit right now. We have now the Austrians uh, getting the ball and approaching from the close side. And now we have uh, the one attacker that got blocked by the defender, pass it to the partner, uh, pass it again. But it's just always one player, one against the goalkeeper and defender. And normally this is not how you build up pressure. You need to build it with two or three players at a time in waves and not just one after the next one because they, they barely touched the defender and the goal they didn't store they didn't create any kind of unrest or any kind of chaos or, or even uh, they didn't stress out the defenders or the or the goalkeepers so they have to build up the attack a little bit better than that uh, if they want to force a mistake on the Swiss people so we are now seeing the Swiss trying to get over the middle and uh, yes. that's a strong okay I don't know if you can hear there's a little bit of uh, interference okay uh, now we have get back again and we are the fighting the surface and look there's just one player underneath this is not <laughs> They're all catching their breath, I guess. Well, okay, they're attacking now, or they're trying to attack the Austrians, the defender of the Swiss successfully recover the ball, pass it to the next Swiss player. They're trying to swim in a counter-attack, but uh, they got uh, blocked by the s Austrian that's coming over the close side and now trying to swim over the goalkeeper and try to do a pass down to the Austrian that is just laying next to the basket who got the ball. Now it's... Uh, uh, I'm kind of see because they are on the other side, and it looks uh, they're just fighting with the goalkeeper. Well, well, Switz the Switzerland does quite a good job here, Defend keeping the yes, the Austrians yes. away, even recover the ball and go for a c attack themselves. I'm quite uh, uh, astonished by their uh, uh, physical prowess they put in the water here. Yeah. I would have guessed uh, it's more. Uh, well, they uh, even have uh, a Guma playing with them. Yeah, didn't know that. Okay. But but uh, I guess you can see they're uh, um, losing their coherence now. We see more Austrian players getting through to the basket, and the more dangerous situation like uh, this attack now, um, which was from the open side. The goalkeeper was pushed away, but uh, here is a one-one situation, and uh, the Austrians are on both sides of the basket. But still, the goalkeeper turned around and fanned off the ball, so the Austrian didn't succeed. Two minutes left in this first half, and it's an impressive game by the Swiss team. If hope is they can keep up with it, we see some uh, exciting second half. Uh, because in this first half, I don't see a winner in this game. And if uh, Switzerland uh, succeeds, here we now have an attack on the. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, oh, they got very it. well done. There was an attack on the empty basket, the but the goalkeeper was fast enough to to Catch snatch the away the ball away. Yes. That was really close, and it's a pity that the Austrian player couldn't couldn't swim a little bit faster. I think he got also got on the on the leg from one of the Swiss. But the the, the Swiss are losing a little bit of their their uh, uh, the structure. Yeah, yes. yeah, they are under yeah. pressure constantly, and you see they're uh, they're getting exhausted. You see it how fast we the have defenders. I mean, a decision for about the water. The deck referee uh, made a call, and it looks like a free throw against again Switzerland. Switzerland. So we had the goalkeeper paying attention, and now they have the Austrian underneath the basket. What happened? Time, time out. out. Probably time out for Switzerland. Uh, in this, in this case, quite a good decision. Yeah, and they're happy. You, you see the the body language of the Swiss players. They're uh, satisfied with their uh, what they did in this first half. Um, and the timeout is uh, necessary for them yeah, to, to catch air a little bit. I mean, yeah. you see, um, and to go into the second half with the zero-zero would be quite a success, I guess, uh, here in this game. Well, well but, done. but you know, we we mentioned before that the the, the game have to be uh, won by one of the 
teams. So if the, the, the main, uh, the, the two times 10 minutes uh, are a draw, then we will start with penalties, one against one, until uh, one of the teams scores and it's the winner. So let's see. We have now one minute and eight seconds until the end of I'm the game. I'm not texting here. Uh, uh, yes, you are. I'm uh, no, I'm, I'm text. I'm managing our youth team because um, since Lorena and me are the coaches of our U18 team, uh, we are not there, and we have uh, to keep up uh, um, to tell them it's going to happen. So back in the game, Austria is attacking hard. 50 seconds left in this first half, and uh, Austria has to score. Well, Swiss, uh, the Swiss also have to score. <laughs> See, but uh, I, I guess it, uh, it, uh, I thought it's from the, the uh, experience it would be in favor of uh, um, Austria. But right here, Switzerland is uh, doing quite a good game um, to keep uh, Austria busy. And it's a free throw against Austria and uh, 20 seconds left. So quite an equal game we have here with these two teams, Austria and Switzerland. So, now we can see the black fighting in the surface. And uh, one player of each team are underneath uh, trying to get... Well, that was the end of... Half time. Half time. time. Okay. So now we have... Now we have the sound uh, from the pool and the referee. Um, I was asking for that uh, because in our last commentaries we didn't have a... Uh, so you're guessing a lot of the things that are happening outside yeah. the water because we are far away. We are actually in the entrance hall of the pool. So we don't even have uh, a sight to the pool and to the players. Um, so for some things really is difficult for us. So we are told when the camera is uh, switching on to us, we have to smile because we are so focused in the game, we don't even uh, realize we are not smiling. Otherwise, we are smiling all the time, aren't we? Oh, not in this picture. Um, yeah, so interesting game, uh, Austria against Switzerland. I was talking to uh, Torsten Stanchus, who is playing with uh, Switzerland, and uh, he was... Uh, well, he was looking forward to play, but uh, he was not very, uh, well, uh, optimistic, let's say, uh, with these upcoming games. But what I see well, here... Well, I mean, you have a team with nine players for is the it Champions true? Cup. One, two, is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Switzerland has nine... Uh, is this... No, that's a referee. That's no, no, that's uh, the girl. Hmm. And it's using the stairs with the fins to go out. Okay. So, uh, nevertheless, um, Champions Cup is very um, challenging for the con physical condition of all the players. Already as it is, you have a full team, it's going to be stressful. So if you don't have enough players to cover all the position twice, and even to have some spare ones, you have 15 players, so you can always put some fresh uh, people in the game that, you know, eventually wears you out because... Uh, yeah, and especially on the on the full time of the whole tournament, yeah. uh, it's not only first game, but the, every every game takes its toll uh, from your physical condition. Um, yeah, I'm curious how this game will end. We will have have to we have to have a winner, so we don't that uh, we don't know yet. Uh, I c I couldn't say who will decide it. I think because well, of right uh, now in right favor now of Austria. Austria was having more possession of the ball. So for me, if they can build up um, um, more waves to attack, but not just a one person way, because they have been attacking one on one person basis. That's not really so effective. You watching the sixth game here in Champions Cup the and fifth. it's Zurich. Ah, six, six, yeah. uh, it's Zurich in white, white and Austria in uh, blue. Team ready. No, sorry. Zurich in blue and Austria in white. And okay, we are on the second half, 0-0. Zero, zero. Let's play. That's the thing to say. Here we go. The Austrian got the ball. They are swimming through. The defender and the goalkeeper just got the position in the Swiss basket. And uh, they're on the close side. And we have on the open side. 
but the Swiss are grabbing the, the ball and trying to stop the attack that we have from above with Austria and pass it on the right, right side of the pool. Uh, the Swiss recover the ball and trying to swim away but they're catched well by defended. two of the Austrians and now they go to the surface. We have a fight the on the surface. The and white team got the ball and they are now swimming. They stole the basket, and but the Swiss recovered the ball, so they're swimming away. And now they're uh, trying to swim a counter attack, but all the Swiss players, the, sorry, the Austrian players are in their field and they're in two positions, so it's difficult. You need to build up an attack, and now they lost the ball, swimming through the bottom of the pool. Trying to pass, lost. That was a very long pass, and there was a Swiss play just in the middle. We got the ball, and now it's trying to pass into the only women probably playing for a male team. Well, in the in the because break, because there's no Swiss girls coming. Yeah. Yeah. In the break, you you will know the the coaches and the teams will prep themselves for the second half. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we saw the first attack of Austria, which was quite decisive, uh, but uh, Switzerland always manages to go into the attack of Austria, recover the ball from them and uh, rechange this attack into their own counter-attack and uh, Switzerland is doing a good job here against, uh, well, probably more players more players uh, on Austria um, so quite satisfying game here uh, Switzerland puts in the water call from the referee free throw against Austria we have a blue free throw blue free throw um, strangle, blue free throw for strangle. Wow, strangling on the water, uh, which is uh, quite bad if you're holding your breath, somebody strangling you. Nevertheless, it can be painful. Here we go, free throw for Switzerland, and they go in, and they are uh, passing uh, past uh, the defender, the forechecking defender, and uh, go up to the surface. One Swiss player is attacked by two Austrian players. And we are at the surface. And uh, Switzerland is attacking. One player is trying to break through. He's going up to the surface, has no one to pass through. That's always a difficult situation. Here we go, back again above the uh, Austrian basket. Um, but the Swiss player is uh, hold is uh, tackled by two Austrian players who don't let him go and don't give him space to play. We are now at the surface, and uh, the Austrian player tr still tries to break free of an uh, uh, tackle attack. And now the Austrian, the another Swiss player, is on the surface, free to play the ball, and uh, Swiss player tries to swim free down to the bottom. But you see the exhaustion uh, in, in the way the Swiss players are structured around the pool. Now we have one coming from the close side of the basket, trying to break over the goalkeeper, but there was no uh, other Swiss player he could pass the ball to. So he lost the ball by an to an attacker on Austria. And now have a counter-attack from Austria. Stopped. No, not really stopped in the middle. That was close. Uh, basket still with no goalkeeper. Um, that was a difficult situation here we go um, but very well defended by the Swiss they uh, stop the attack recover the ball and uh, do a quite good job to break free from their own basket and defend quite well very well played and a uh, little bit more than five minutes left in the second half here Austria in white against uh, Switzerland in blue and it's an um, equal game we see here. Both teams had chances, but both teams um, managed quite well to keep each other away from the basket and uh, to counter-attack. So it's a win-win situation for both here. Both teams could win this game with one, uh, with one score. So less than five minutes left and Switzerland is in attack mode. 
quite astonishing nine people playing and uh, they don't look that exhausted a little bit more than the Austrians but they uh, seem to play clever more clever than uh, Austria because they putting their strength in the right way to control the game and uh, I think it's an equal ball possession uh, even uh, Switzerland does a quite good job uh, to go for it now we have an empty basket and the, the defender the goalkeeper was just in time there and was close I didn't see it that right but it was very close and we see now the defense of uh, Switzerland crumbling there are two players down on the basket of Switzerland and the attacker didn't uh, succeed in pushing up the goalkeeper and then the defender was there and took away the the ball from him so that was a close call that should have been a goal because he was not attacked and he had one try to push the goalkeeper up but he didn't succeed and that's the one chance uh, you have in an attack you have to count one two three you not succeed you have to go out now we have an empty basket and an attack from Austria and uh, well that's a little bit sad for Switzerland here with an empty basket we have a white Def goal by number 18 18 one eight white goal one from number 18, 18, white, 18. from uh, Austria the ball please Huh, interesting. I don't have an 18 on my list. Ah, oh, no, that was Australia. Ha, huh. common mistake. Marcus Wimmer um, um, scored here against Switzerland. Marcus Wimmer with number 18. So it's a 1 0 lead for Austria. Now Switzerland has thrown in everything they have here. They go from the open side, and uh, the attacker tries to, to push the goalkeeper up, but is tackled away by two Austrian. Attackers, and now I see two Swiss players fighting for the ball. That's exhausting. But uh, um, Austria recovers the ball and uh, tries to break three. But Switzerland really is forechecking hard now and trying to stop uh, the, the attack of Austria without giving them space to uh, break through in their own half. And we have a cluster on the surface. They're fighting hard there. Um, we were talking yesterday at the Underwater Rugby Academy if these clusters on the surface should be stopped after a certain time and we agreed that the academy that uh, there is no use in watching uh, people fighting up there. So another counter-attack from Austria and uh, the goalkeeper is there in time. The defenders are a little bit behind the attackers but made it in time. Um, no great danger and Switzerland recovers the ball. The Swiss player tries to break free and uh, they do a good job and uh, it was really uh, sad to see this uh, goal and it's not against Austria they play quite good but it was a goal on an empty basket and uh, the way the Switzerland played that was not deserved so uh, Austria I again the goal, so I cannot comment yeah. on that. well you have to trust me um, one zero lead and uh, one and a half minutes left in the second half, Austria in the blue against... Well, well, we said that all the Austrians were having more ball control, so eventually they could... Yeah, but it was on the empty basket, and uh, the way Switzerland defended all this time and attacked... Yeah, but why was it the empty basket? Where were the Swiss? Well... They didn't come back on time from the attack? I, I think that it looks like a misunderstanding. There was nobody down. Mm -hmm. So we have a counter-attack from Switzerland. Uh, the Swiss female player, what is her name? Could you check out? Veronica. Veronica. Um, try to counter-attack. She's, uh, I think she's the first uh, woman we see in the man team yes, uh, here the in the... No, 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 no. In the past, I believe the Swiss... Yeah, are but the, this Champions Cup, yeah. it's the first one we see, the and she's the and only, only one. First and only. Yeah, so that was, there could have been a chance for Switzerland to succeed here, but um, now you see the... the bottom dominance, the bottom time dominance of Austria and it's really difficult for Switzerland to to keep in ball possession and another attack on the empty, almost empty basket but the attacker lost the ball right in front of the Swiss basket recovered by uh, the female player of Switzerland and another attack, it's, it's getting... Ah, Again let's on the empty basket. Let's this, is, this kind of empty basket, was it before? Yeah, it was almost, almost the same situation. Ten. Player number 10 <coughs> of scored. Vienna, that was... And that was also end of the game. And the end of the game. Uh, it's good we have the sound now from the referee. It gives us more insight into the games. And 
Uh, it's, it's more colorful for us to uh, comment these games if we have inside